What's going on, you guys? So today, we have a long overdue response video regarding the racist accusations towards me. The outline of this video is going to be a chronological order of every relevant incident and interaction that has caused the release of these videos, as well as many other important details. So let's get right into it. On October 9th, 2022, as you can see on screen, is a Toxic Mod Squad block glitching video, which is right around the time when I met Dark Deceptious. And in fact, in this video, we had not even been in parties before. We were just texting each other. But shortly after that was when Deceptious and I had been at a party and we started playing together. Fast forward to June 30th of 2023, Deceptious and I met a guy named Kasiju and Raising Standy through some of my YouTube live streams. Now I'm not sure if it was through the exact same live stream, but it was right around the same time. If I do recall correctly, I do believe it was through the same live stream. Fast forward some more to August 30th, and this is the night that it was me, Standy, Perp, and we had a random on our team, and we were playing against Wolves and his three stack on Death Star 2. So we were playing Dark Side, and Wolves and his stack had Light Side. And we ended up losing the match, and I didn't think Standy was being a great team player. And at the time, I was angry because we lost. And not just because we lost, but I knew that if we even lost by a point, that Wolves would take that and upload it. So we ended up kicking Standy from the group chat, and he messages me on PSN. And I basically explained to him that him going Boba kind of cost us the game because they had a Finn, Anakin, Chewie, and Leia, if I'm not mistaken, camping at Dark Side spawn. And as you can see, Standy took this fairly personally, calling me a clown to go fuck myself, that I'm a little bitch, a petulant man child, and that if Gamble wasn't a pedo, he would say he's a better person than me. <laughs> I was just like. Wow. But shortly after this altercation, I had given Deceptious the green light to add him back to the group chat, which had Mac, Exist, Perp, Kasiju, myself, and Standy. And like I said, at the time, I was fairly frustrated with us losing the match because I know that even if an opposition gets a win by one point, that they would upload me. So I just wanted really the best team possible to compete against those guys because, you know, they always have their stacks. And it was nothing personal. It was over just the game, the Death Star match. So after we had added Standy back to the group chat, Exis had noticed that Standy had gone to Wolves himself on one of his videos and commented to him that I had made a personal attack on him, which is not true. And to be honest, if he just had a little more patience, we probably could have resolved this pretty easily. But he decided to go to the opposition, a false claim, leave the group chat, and then the following day we all get emails from PlayStation saying we broke the code of conduct. Oh, another thing I want to mention is Astral Trinity you see in the screenshots is indeed Dark Deceptious. Now, although that Standy was the obvious suspect for reporting the group chat, he seemed to take on the narrative that it wasn't him. Standy then messaged Kasiju that he should go and ask the group chat who reported him, <laughs> and then he goes on to say that I reported him as well, which is not true because our DMs haven't been deleted by PlayStation Safety to this day. So whenever somebody reports a group chat, PlayStation Safety will go in, and they will delete any messages that violate their terms of service and you will get a warning or you will get banned for a specific period of time depending on the severity of what you said. Uh, if you've been reported for the same thing multiple times and they will make their determination of how long your ban is that way. So no, Standy, nobody reported you. And to this day, you're still the number one suspect for reporting our group chat. Now, the reason this is all relevant is it's going to lead into the clip I'm going to play right now. And after the clip is played, I'm going to provide more context to the situation and my whole standpoint on it. Oh, poor baby. Go cry somewhere else, faggot. Yep, I'm a nigger. Yep, I'm definitely a nigger. Yeah, I'm definitely a nigger. Yeah, yeah we're both white. We're both white! <laughs> Said it four times!
Yes, I did in fact say those words in that clip. And I'm not proud of it whatsoever, but the clip does lack a lot of context. So, people who were in the party that day was Mac, Kasiju, Standy, J. Will, Perp, Deceptious, and myself. We were doing friendly fours, but we only had seven of us, so we had the random. It was me, Deceptious, and J. Will on a team, and then it was Perp, Standy, Kasiju, and Mac. We were playing on Java's Palace. And Deceptious had gotten mad because not only did we have a random, but we couldn't really do much against their four stack with their fin and camping and everything. So he ended up rage quitting, Deceptious that is. And if you know Deceptious in any way, shape, or form, you will know that he will go to any ends of the earth to win an argument. So after Deceptious had rage quit... We all had eventually backed out as well, and he wouldn't stop, and he eventually got to the point to where he was calling me the hard R. So in response to him calling me that repeatedly, I had mocked him and had said it two to three times. Never called anybody that. The people in the party that night can vouch for me that there was no racial bias or ill racial intent towards anybody. I was basically just mocking Deceptious for calling me that, and there's nothing really else to it. I promise to you guys, I am not a racist person. I promise you that. But the next part of the video is where it gets a little bit eerie. So it turns out that somebody in the party that night of the seven people that I named, including myself, had clipped that interaction between Deceptious and I which means it was clipped on any date between June 30th, when we first had met uh, Standy Kasiju, and August 31st of 2023, when we kicked Standy from the group chat. And Deceptious has even admitted that he basically indirectly caused me to say that at the time. And I know for a fact, if he wasn't in the party that night instigating any of that, I would never have said that in the first place. Did that make it okay for me to say? No, it didn't even the slightest, and again, I'm not proud of it, but for people to be saying that I'm racist because of that, it's just far from the truth, and everybody knows it's far from the truth, but this community will run with whatever they can grab and try to make you look like something you're not, and I want to reiterate that based on the evidence that I've shown, that out of all the people who were in the group chat that night, it's pretty obvious who clipped that at the time because everybody else doesn't really have a motive. Deceptious is the first guy I met. Then we had met Mac. Then we met Kasiju and Stanny at the same time. And I'm actually not sure when we met Perp, but Perp is still a great friend to me to this day. Over the course of the next few weeks after the group chat got reported, a channel by the name of Enhancement had made quite a few videos on me. And as you can see, in the top left was the first video he ever made on me. And in that video, towards the end of the video, was part of the clip of where I was saying the hard R. And that was the first time that any of us had known that somebody had clipped that altercation uh, of that specific night. From our point of view at the time, we were all kind of puzzled. Because knowing the clip was out there gave us the obvious indicator that somebody had kept quiet, clipped it, and sent it to whoever this guy Enhancement is. And he does have multiple accounts. And I'm going to get into uh, our conversation of DMs on Discord a little bit later. But I also want to say that I've been in a party with him twice now. And one time he used an AI generator to talk for him. And the second time he didn't speak at all. So there's no telling who this person really is. But what's more important here is that in his second video you see on the screen that was released on September 22nd, he claims that I called him the N-word three times, which, again, is not true in the slightest. He's never spoken a word to me over voice chat. I don't know what he sounds like. He provides no evidence of me doing so. So at the time, I didn't really dive in and look at all the details of the video. But a few months later, I realized that that indeed falls under defamation. Now, if you don't know what defamation is, according to YouTube's policies... It is any untrue statement that is harmful to someone's reputation or causes someone to be shunned or avoided. So after going through the YouTube defamation policies, 
I decided to hit him up on Discord, letting him know that I could have indeed taken legal action against him. If there was nothing of substance, I wouldn't have DM'd him in the first place, let alone making this video. Again, he says I called him the N-word three times, which is not true. He provides no evidence in the attempt to damage my reputation, which does indeed fall under defamation. On December 27th, I then messaged him that he has two choices. Number one, he can delete the video. Or number two, he could keep the video up. And I told him that if he did that, I'd be doing research on how I could take legal action against him. Then on December 31st, he provided evidence of him deleting the video. Which, in theory, should have ended all of this, right? Well, think again. Also, I want to mention that the screen recording of him deleting his video, he had blocked the bottom half of his screen, which I don't know why he did that, but I had paused the screen recording at a specific time, and one of his videos says, this shit is the glitcher, which is taking a shot at Deceptious, which I just thought was pretty funny. During this time span, on December 28th, December 29th, and January 3rd, three different people had uploaded me saying that I was racist. And the three channels were Master Obi, aka Master Obio, who I've uploaded for teabagging. Peer Beast, who I've also uploaded before for Black Glitching First, which he also openly admitted to. And Sandblaster. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be reacting and breaking down each video that they have posted about me. The interactions I've had with two of them on Discord. And then we will finally be reacting to the Duminator video and finish off with some closing thoughts. I'm a bad little bitch and I'm snipped like a Barbie. Hips, lips, ass in a cardi. I'm his favorite motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. 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 This guy, Master Obi, seemed to take it a step further from enhancement saying that I called his grandma the N-word in a party 68 times. Not sure where you came up with that, buddy, but you and I both know that's not true. So I hit him up on Discord asking him if he was aware of what defamation is, and if he'd be civil enough to join a PlayStation party. Which, of course, he refused and seemed to take this whole thing as a little game. Now let's react to the Pure Beast video. Yeah, not much to say there. It's like just a compilation of him killing me a few times. And the title of the video doesn't seem to correlate with the content in the actual video. But nonetheless, let's now react to the Sandblaster video. Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, poor baby. Go cry somewhere else, faggot. Yep, I'm a nigger. Yep, I'm definitely a nigger. Yeah, I'm definitely a nigger. Yep. Yeah, we're both white. We're both white! <laughs> Said it four times! Nigger. So as you can tell, this is the same audio that I played earlier in the video. And in the short moment of the gameplay on Palace Hangar, where my name is over the Vader, and it's the audio of me saying the hard R, it's from the same clip, it's just been trimmed and edited down even more to make me look even worse. I then hit up Sam Blaster as well on Discord, asking him if he would be willing to chat for a few minutes. And just like Master Obi, he didn't like the idea of joining a party. He later went on to say that the reason he didn't want to join a voice chat was because he was afraid that me or one of my buddies would DDoS him, which he later ended up deleting that message. He says that everything he's uploaded about me is factual and is backed up with evidence, which is technically true, but when you take a clip and you edit it to try and make somebody look bad, you can create whatever narrative you want to. For example, I could go on YouTube right now and find a random celebrity interview, leave out a significant portion of the context, and then boom, I have the narrative that I want to put out. 
regardless if it's skewed or misleading, and that is the exact situation we're dealing with here. Another thing that I had mentioned to him in DMs was that when I had made a video of accusing Duminator of fen glitching, which he wasn't, Sandblaster had posted a video showcasing what normal fin buff looks like. I said, GG to Duminator and his squad. I thank Sandblaster for showing me the video. I even linked it in the community post that I had made. Now, let's react to the Duminator video. Didn't think I'd ever be doing something like this over an almost decade old Star Wars game, but uh, here we are. If you couldn't tell from the title, this is going to be a quick rundown on how GG1324, the self-proclaimed one true light of the community, is unironically threatening legal action over fucking Battlefront 2. And no, this isn't a joke. You're right, Duminator. It's not a joke. Defamation does indeed have consequences, whether it's in person or online. One guy says I said the N-word to him three times. The other guy said that I called his grandma that 68 times. These two statements are untrue. It is harmful to my reputation, which, newsflash, falls under defamation. Now, it's no secret that I and a good majority of the Battlefront 2 community don't really like the guy due to his ego, his massive victim complex, and his videos usually being pretty one-sided, with a frequent example of this being he uploads people to teabag him and he calls them toxic, blah blah blah, but uh, what he doesn't include is him and his friends teabagging the guy first. So, I don't know about you, that seems like a pretty important detail to me. Huh. Could you name some examples, Duminator, where I teabag the guy first in my videos? The only time when I teabag somebody first is when they've bagged me in the past before. And you bring up that my friends teabag people first, which is true, in some of my videos. But let's say my teammates like Deceptus and Perp teabag somebody. It doesn't necessarily mean he should teabag me. Because if somebody teabags me first, I don't go and teabag in his whole team. I only teabag the guy who bagged me. Now at the end of the day, what the fuck does it matter if someone gets uploaded? What the fuck does it matter if someone gets teabagged? It doesn't affect you in real life. It's just a dead Star Wars game. Who the hell cares? But uh, things change when the number one ranked Battlefront pedophile, Gamble Fiction, threatened to sue Vorpal over deflammation. I, I am serious this time, because if you make one more video that's straight lying about me, I will sue you for deflammation. And that's a thing, go look it up, buddy. And uh, this gave, uh, seemed to give GG an idea. Uh, number one, you didn't even pronounce defamation correctly. And number two, I still don't think you know what it means. Alright, now, dating back to September, a small Battlefront 2 channel called Enchantment uploaded a video shitting on GG, which also included a one-second snippet of GG dropping the no-no word, which was taken from a stream that uh, GG and his friends were a part of. No, Duminator, it wasn't taken from any stream. Nobody was streaming at the time in that party. As I mentioned before, there was only seven people in that party, which was Standy, Perp, Mac... Deceptious, J. Will, Kasiju, and myself. Now, to be clear, any rational human being wouldn't give a flank fuck, and I'm not accusing GG of racism or anything like that, but, uh, you gotta say, it's pretty damn ironic. Huh. You know, it's funny you say that, Duminator, because the screenshot you guys see here is from a video from a channel named TK421, who's also a sub of mine, but the video isn't up anymore. Either it was deleted or unlisted, I'm not sure which. But the video was titled something like Racist Tier List, and Duminator had gone into the comments and said that he failed to rank me. So you're a bit hypocritical there, Duminator. And for those who are wondering, uh, here's the full clip right here. Oh, poor baby. Go cry somewhere else, faggot. Yep, I'm a nigger. Yep, I'm definitely a nigger. Yeah, I'm definitely a nigger. Yeah, yeah we're both white! We're both white! <laughs> said it four times! No, Duminator, that's not the full clip. As I said before, it's been edited to make me look bad when Deceptus was saying it to me repeatedly in the first place. So in retaliation, I just tried to get Deceptus to shut up. Hit me up when you or any of your friends find the full clip, Duinator, so that I can post it and show everybody the truth. Now, even when the video came out, uh, nobody really gave a shit because four whole months had to pass before uh, Gamble came out with the lawsuit threat until Gamble decided to take action on December 26th. And, uh, this is when a chain reaction started. 
after news was passed that uh, he sent all these messages to Enchantment, which I'm going to be showing above. So three others decided to jump on the train and basically all made shit posts making fun of how he threatened to sue them. And uh, this basically got the same reaction just left by them being basically shit posts, just making fun of the whole matter, basically telling them to sue me pussy. And uh, that's where we are now. I'll, again, the screenshots I'll be showing above throughout this entire thing. Now, should this guy be wrecked over the coals for what he said? No. This honestly doesn't really fucking matter. Nobody fucking cares. But, uh, nobody gave a shit about this until he brought it back up. And that just wrecked the coals similar to a Cobra effect. Huh. So, if nobody gave a shit, nobody would have clipped our interaction between Deceptious and I that night. Nobody would have sent the clip to any of my ops. And three other guys wouldn't have uploaded videos accusing me of racism after I got an enhancement to delete his video. Because nobody was calling me racist until the enhancement video got deleted. That's where it all should have ended, right, Duminator? And I also want to bring up the fact that he said that nobody joins my parties because a few of my friends have DDoS people in the past. Me and my friends have never done that to anybody. I find it comical that you think that your brain dead audience would fall for that. And I find it even funnier that you messaged my friend Exist on December 28th about an entirely different topic. And then the second he brings me up, your main excuse was that you were trying to go to sleep. So how did your main excuse for not joining a party go from you just wanted to go to sleep, accusing my friends of DDoSing people? That's quite a severe perspective change. Now, I don't really have any legal point to make here. I'm basically just a messenger letting y'all know not to go off to crazy on like GG here and uh, don't sue people over Battlefront 2 because you'll look like a fucking retard. So, uh, to conclude, uh, here's a shitty little edit I made. Uh, hope y'all enjoy. So that's how he ends his video. The rest of his video is just gameplay. But after everything that has happened, I think this response video is enough. I've been meaning to get this video out for a few weeks now. But as it turns out, the longer I waited, the more intel I got. So it actually turned out good for me in the end. Moving forward, I'm going to start uploading on February 1st. And I will basically just see how many clips I can upload for how many months. Because I haven't been on the game for weeks. And I still have a bunch of clips on both my YouTube studio and in my PlayStation Media Gallery. I hope this video has enlightened some of you guys on what has really been going on. I'm not sure if I'm going to be coming back to Battlefront. I'm certainly not going to be playing pubs anymore. Just to try to stay away from the drama and everything. But if I were to come back, it would be through private friendly matches. Those might be fun to stream every once in a while. I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 3 Zombies lately. And I've actually wanted to stream both of the Last of Us games. But I wanted to make this video first. Let me know what you guys want to see moving forward on the channel. I appreciate every single one of you who has supported me through thick and thin. And I will catch you guys soon. Peace out. Oh, and another thing before the video ends. Uh, I just want to leave up some screenshots that you guys might enjoy. Peace out, guys.